well once again welcome back to the math revision made meticulous topic uh, probability simultaneous occurrence of events revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer now let us look at the multiplication theorem on probability the probabilities of simultaneous occurrence of two or more events associated with a random experiment can be computed using multiplication theorem on probability now let us suppose a and b are two events associated with a random experiment then p of a intersection b that is a and b already we have discussed when and comes intersection will come it will be p of a into p of b slash a if uh, a has occurred first and p of a intersection b is p of b into p of a slash b if b occurred first already we have discussed in condition probability what do you mean by b slash a probability of b knowing that a has occurred a slash b means probability of a knowing that b has occurred now if a and b and c suppose you have three events associated with a random experiment if they are occurring in order a occur first then b then c then probability of a and b and c that is a intersection b intersection c is p of a into p of b slash a that is p of b knowing that a has occurred and p of c knowing that a and b has occurred if a b c and d are three events or uh, four events associated like that we can continue a intersection b intersection c intersection d also we can continue now let us go for some questions making use of this uh, multiplication theorem of probability a bag contain 10 white and 15 black balls two balls are drawn succession without replacement what is the probability that first is white second is black now all of you may be wondering that where the probability multiplication idea to be applied it will be applied when there are in events which are following one above the other here there is a condition that without replacement therefore you have to make use of that condition therefore what is the probability that first is white and second is black A is the event of getting white ball in the first draw. B is the event of getting black ball in the second draw. Now, the probability of getting a white ball in the first draw and a black ball in the second draw is A intersection B. Therefore, we have very clearly mentioned that first should be white, second should be black. Therefore, P of A intersection B is P of A into P of B slash A. Already we have seen this formula. Now, let us see what the bag contains. It contains ten white and fifteen black. A is the event of getting white ball in the first draw, and B therefore P of A is tan C one by twenty five C one. Therefore tan by twenty five. Now event of getting black ball in the second draw, if the second ball is drawn without replacement, therefore B slash A is probability of getting a black ball in the second draw when a white ball already been drawn. But what will happen? You will have the number of balls is reduced in total. therefore it will become 15c1 by 24c1 which is 15 by 24 be careful with that the second in the second draw is done when a white ball is already been drawn in the first draw therefore it is 24c1 in the denominator now we have got two answers 10 by 25 and 15 by 24 now you have the formula a intersection b is p of a into p of b slash a 10 by 25 into 15 by 24 the answer is 1 by 4 by doing cancellation let us move on to the question number 2 two balls are drawn in the previously we had only two balls are drawn white and black here two balls are drawn from a urn containing two white three red and four black ball one by one without replacement what is the probability that at least one ball is red remember whenever we are talking about at least one ball we have to talk about one ball two ball three ball and so on Or we can use one more technique. Probability of at least one ball is one minus probability of none is red. In some cases, none is red, none is white, none is black will be very easy to find. Subtract it from one, you will get at least. We understand this formula. Sometimes at least will be having a lot of calculation. To reduce the calculation, we can have probability of at least is one minus probability of none. Well, let us have A as event of not getting a red ball in the first draw. B is equal to event of not getting a red ball in the second draw. 
the probability of not getting a red ball in the first and in the second will be A intersection B. But now what we have done, we have done without replacement. Therefore, we should use this total probability formula. P of A into P of B slash A. Now we have written that what is the urn contain? 2 white and 3 red and 4 black. For total ball is 9. We have to get not a red ball. Therefore, there are 6 non-red. 2 white and 4 black. Therefore, 6 C1 by 9 C1. Therefore, 6 by 9. But remember, even of not getting a red ball in the second draw, you should be very careful. Second ball is drawn without replacement. Therefore, it is not getting a red ball when a non-red ball is drawn in the first draw. A non-red ball has gone. For what will be the total now? The total will be instead of 9, it will be 8. Therefore, 8 C1. Now, we have to get probability of not getting a red ball. Out of that 6 non-red, 1 red is already gone. You are not there. Therefore, when a non-red ball is already gone, therefore, you will have only 5 C1 instead of 6 C1. For 2 plus 4, 6 minus 1, therefore 5 C1. For 5 C1 by 8 C1 is 5 by 8. Where we are getting the answer as 2 by 3 and 5 by 8. Multiply them, making use of the total probability formula. The answer is 5 by 12. But this is not the answer. We want probability of at least one ball is red. It will be 1 minus probability of none is red. 1 minus 5 by 12, which is 7 by 12. But please understand the technique we have used here. To get at least one ball is red, we have used 1 minus probability of none is red. Let us now move on to the next idea called independent events. What are independent events? Events are said to be independent. If the occurrence of or non-occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the occurrence or non-occurrence of the other event. They are totally independent. For if A and B are independent, then P of A intersection B is P of A into P of B. We can directly multiply. The probability of simultaneous occurrence of two independent events is equal to the product of their probabilities. But whenever we find A intersection B, if you find that they are independent, in the previous two cases where we have use of the total probability remember they are not independent for p of a intersection b is p of a into p of a slash b but here we after understanding what are independent events let us go on to a question number three a bag contains five white seven red and four black balls if four balls are drawn one by one with the replacement what is the probability that all are white all of you may be wondering that how to identify that we have to use independent event idea. There is a keyword in the question that with the replacement. The meaning is uh, four balls are drawn. After one is one ball is drawn, it is replaced. Again one ball is drawn, again it is replaced. Again third ball drawn, replaced and the fourth ball is drawn. For whenever you are doing this replacement and drawing balls, you will get independent events. Let us go into the question now. 4 balls are drawn with replacement. Therefore, there are 4 independent events. A is equal to event of getting white ball in the first draw. B event of getting white ball in the second draw. C event of getting white ball in the third draw. D event of getting white ball in the fourth draw. Some book will call it as W1, W2, W3, W4 also. 4 balls are drawn one by one with replacement. Therefore, P of A, P of B, P of C and P of D are all 5 by 16. For 5 white balls are there, total ball is 16. Therefore, 5 by 16. Now, probability of getting 4 white ball in 4 draws is A intersection, B intersection, C intersection, D. As the balls are drawn with the replacement, they are all independent events. For by making use of independent event formula, P of A into P of B into P of C into P of D is 5 by 16 whole power 4. The move on to question number 4. 4 back, a bag contains 3 red and 5 black, another bag contains 6 red and 4 black. A ball is drawn from each bag, find the probability that both are red balls. There are two bags are there, whenever you are doing the event on the first ball and the first bag and the second bag, they will be independent. Let us see, one ball drawn from each bag, there are two independent events of drawing one ball each, one ball from the first and one ball from the second. Be careful, A is equal to event of getting red ball from the first. B event of getting red ball from the second. Some book will call A1, A2 like that. P of A, 3 by 8. Because there are 3 red balls are there. 3 by 5 plus 3, 8. And P of B is, there are 6 red ball. 6 plus 4, 10. Therefore, 6 by 10. 
Pravda getting both red ball is from the first and the second, the Fourier intersection B, P of A into P of B, because they are independent, 3 by 8 into 6 by 10, therefore the answer is 9 by 40. <coughs> you can simplify this also if you want. Okay, well, a policeman fires four bullets on a dacoit. The probability that the dacoit will be killed by one bullet is 0.6. What is the probability that the dacoit is still alive? Here, when uh, firing four bullets, when he is doing all bullets one after the other, they are all independent events. Let us check. Let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 be the event that the dacoit is not killed. Is uh, still alive means it is, he is not killed. Therefore, I am taking it as A as A1, A2, A3, A4. Probability that the dacoit will be killed by one bullet is equal to 0.6. For probability that will not be killed will be 1 minus that. All of you know not A is 1 minus probability of A for 1 minus 0.6 which is 0.4. Now, probability that the dacoit is still alive is, is not killed by the first, second, third and the fourth. Therefore, A1 intersection, A2 intersection, A3 intersection, A4. We have to multiply for it is 0 0.4 whole power 4. You can get the answer as 0 0.256. Here as we have, uh, be careful with the question, probability that the dacoit is still alive, but the probability given is the dacoit will be killed. But we have to get its uh, negation, then we have to do the problem. Uh, success is dependent on the effort. All the best. Thank you.